Good morning. My role is to help a little bit with logistics as we go through the day. So just a few announcements. This is the Heritage Room in Founders Hall. We will be in this room all morning long. And Sally mentioned we'll be doing our, our lunch in the rotunda. After lunch, when we break into our breakout groups, one group will remain in the Heritage Room. But there are two additional rooms in the facility that will be in. This morning, you enjoyed the music of our guitar ensemble, uh, led by Randy Rhodes. At lunchtime, we'll have a wonderful experience with our new Horizons vocal group. It's one of our premier senior division vocal groups led by Crystal Schaefer. It's now my pleasure to introduce our president, John O'Brien. And it certainly is a pleasure really for two reasons. Number one, he's, he's my boss. <laughs> but number two, when John O'Brien returned to Milton Hershey School six years ago, he planted a seed, the seed of sustainability. And he made an interesting statement in justifying his viewpoint. He said, we have a moral obligation to nurture not only our children, but also the environment that we inhabit. And that little seed has grown. It's grown from a board-approved environmental sustainability statement that defines what we mean when we talk about environmental stewardship, to everything including Earth Hour, which last Saturday meant we had students all over our campus running around their student homes turning off lights in an attempt to uh, conserve energy. So again, it's with distinct pleasure that I introduce Mr. John O'Brien. I may be your boss, but you're my hero. <laughs> you, you and your staff and, and what our folks do here at Milton Hershey School to preserve and protect and sustain our environment, this incredible uh, natural resource we're blessed with. So welcome, uh, friends of the earth, uh, to this magical place we call Milton Hershey School. Magical because we transform and save the lives of thousands of children year in and year out. But we also save and preserve thousands of acres of land, a precious natural resource, year in and year out. And we're determined and committed to do that better than we've ever done in our history. And I think our history shows that we've done it very well. Um, a few years back, the school adopted an environmental stewardship mission statement and then began to develop a strategic plan because while we were doing things pretty well we weren't necessarily doing them strategically intentionally and in any way that was integrated and from that plan that our staff has developed we are now going to make major breakthroughs at a time that our planet needs major breakthroughs I say that we're at a wonderfully terrifying uh, threshold on our planet for a natural resource. Terrifying because it's a little bit scary about how much we're abusing our planet. Uh, wonderfully exciting because we are beginning to realize that it is the human contribution, both good and bad, that can save the planet and this earth. And so we're making major progress. Here at Milton Hershey, it falls into two large categories. Uh, for us as a school, we're blessed in that we have close to 11,000 acres. So we have a virtual ecosystem ourselves. I don't know that many colleges or universities can say they have an ecosystem. But our forests and our fields and our streams, almost all of it, I'd say 70% of it, open space of those 11,000 acres are just an incredible natural resource that we will fight fiercely uh, to protect forever. And because the school and Mr. Hershey's deed of trust says that we will last and serve our children in perpetuity, see if our fabulous fifth graders know what that means, perpetuity, yes, forever, forever right, so that we will in fact, preserve this incredible environment that we're stewards of around us as well. Two big categories that falls in. Uh, one is the whole energy environmental side that, that by building green, and we've just had a wonderful building campaign of, of about almost $600 million so that we can serve and save the lives of 50% more children. Milton Hershey has, has grown its student body and the children, the precious kids that we serve, has grown from about 1,200 uh, to 1,830 students, and we'll go to 2,000. Uh, so we, we need to build 
in a way that preserves the environment and can sustain it. Our, our whole energy conservation, and we're doing everything from, you might see if it's not too wet today, one of our great ecological, well-managed burns that we do on our field, uh, all the way to having student home competitions that are going to be coming up to see which student homes can save the most energy. Won't that be fun? Yeah. yeah. Who's going to win? Yeah, all of us. It's wonderful to take advantage of the competitive spirit uh, in this regard. And uh, how we do our own landscaping. Uh, so we have people, I call them my heroes, and I'll miss a lot of people, but between Mike Benner on the agricultural and envir environmental education side, uh, to Steve Myers, who's, who's leading our sustainability effort, and especially on the energy side, uh, to Phil Shirk, who's our manager uh, of the landscapes, and, and I can go on and on. But the thing that we do that's special in addition to that is our education side. Right? And uh, so it, it, is, it is perfectly appropriate today that we have our our fabulous fifth graders here who are studying the Chesapeake Bay. Any of you know where my other home beside Hershey is? Yes. Maryland. Yeah, Maryland, right on the Chesapeake Bay. I'm on one of the tributaries. And so for us to be studying this, uh, just, just picture this, that we're blessed with a campus where we can be studying our streams, right? And our streams from the campus run into what stream? We know the First the Swatera, right? And the Swatera runs into what? The Susquehanna. And have you learned yet about what the Susquehanna does to the Chesapeake Bay? Yes. Do what? It leads right into it. Does anybody know that it's the, I think, the largest single uh, a polluter of the Chesapeake Bay uh, as a tributary right now? So that what we do on our campus here every day affects the living ecosystem of the Chesapeake Bay, and especially those good crab cakes. Any of you like crab cakes? Anybody like crab cakes out there? <laughs> I thought, Maggie, we should give them crab cakes or, or hard shell crabs at the end of their program here uh, to, to get the connection. Uh, but we're so incredibly blessed that we can do these things. And, and here, this room full of people, because it's all about us humans, isn't it? both the adults and our, our children who are going to come after us, who have enough courage, because I think we have enough information, yeah, we could use more research, but have enough courage to stand up to those people who say global warming is a myth, 